Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, I'm Remy. But today's video is this amazing DIY of this body butter that's supposed to help with dog spa. If you have high pigmentation, it will help decrease it. Okay, so if you like to see the end result, please stay until the end of the video. Wait, okay, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. I would appreciate that also don't forget to click the bell notification for one of our poster video you could be notified all right guys about two or three months ago I've decided to go to a different wax place that was a big mistake on my part so I think I had a really bad um, reaction to the wax that they used on me which caused me to have a lot of dark spot on my legs. I will put some pictures so you can see the difference. And I was I went to see a dermatologist. Um, the cream that they gave me is not doing anything. So my my legs cracking, flaky. It's itching as well. So I'm like, let me just do some research. I have a lot of oils here, and I came across this video as well. I don't remember the name of the young lady, but I cannot um change the recipe and add my own thing and if you are someone who dealing with a higher pigmentation dark spot flaky itching on your skin maybe this can help you as well you can make this video and make it your own way all right so the ingredients that you will need you don't have to use everything that i've used in this video you can use your own things you can use your your um the kind of oils that you like the body butter that you like it's up to you however there are some ingredients that are a must and the one that it will be optional i will make sure to point it out throughout the video okay so don't focus on the measurements the science of it however i'll still add those measurements in the comment um the description below so you can see if you want to follow it okay so the first ingredient is cookworm butter okay cookworm butter it was so hard i'm not sure if it's supposed to be like this or maybe because i had it for a while but it was so hard at the same time it was really light so i already know that it's gonna be it's not going to weight my skin and it's going to be melt into the skin also i use um mango butter this is mango butter and coconut butter so both butters are so good but you can use your own kind of butter as well okay so see the difference between the cocoam and the body butter so the um the mango butter the mango butter is more greasy and the cocoam butter just melts right into your skin all right so cocoam butter is very light and rich easy to mix with other oils and butter and this is why i use it as a base for this cream I also feel like the mango butter will balance the cocoam and the cocoa butter because the mango butter is a little bit rich and thick and the other ones are really um, light. And for cocoa butter and mango butter, they both rich in vitamin C and E, makes the skin soft, um, prevents um, sun damage. I did the double boiling method. If you have a... I don't know something else that you can use you can but that was easy for me so i've used a measurement cup that has different type of scale it had um ounces um ml ml <laughs> ml or you can use a scale if you want to okay the first oil is kukui okay this oil is very light not that greasy it has healing properties so if you have cut or itching on your skin it will also help healing the skin as well and the second oil is the beautiful orangey color brew tea which helps with dark spot you need this oil okay it helps lighting the dark spot moisturize the skin also protect the skin from sun damage look at how it's so pretty it doesn't don't worry it doesn't stain your um it doesn't stay on your skin 
but make sure that you mix it with other oils and other things because I haven't used it, it by itself and I do not advise you to do the same thing. The next oil is sea bark tone oil. Okay, this oil is also a pretty color, but it doesn't stand just like the other one. This this it's more greasy, a little bit heavier. That one, if you use the um the more, the more orange one by itself, it may give you a little tan. Okay. <laughs> But sea bucks oil is rich in vitamin C. It helps with also um, lighting the the skin, uh, make the skin very vibrant. Okay, and um, you need that oil. And the next one is um, cow seed oil. As many of you know, cow seed oil used in so many beauty and skincare products, as well as vitamin E. Vitamin E promotes anti-aging. It helps with flaky and dry skin. Okay, so I have set aside the all the bodies to cool down, to cool off, not too hard. So the next ingredient that you need, which is the main ingredient, okay, it's um, lemon peel. Once you get lemon peel on the website, it will tell you how to use it, the measurement, how to go about it as well. So lemon peel helps with um, lighting dark spots, also, also scars, okay? So the next two oils that I'll be using are essential oils. Um, cinnamon oil and lemongrass oil cinnamon oils i'm using it because it's winter so i wanted to like you know a woody undertone for the butter so the lemongrass i love lemongrass um scent okay so now i am mixing the oils and the butter together mix it together and put it in the fridge in the freezer for about 10, um 15 to 20 minutes just to get a little bit of texture off camera i added hibiscus oil also a little bit of turmeric oil okay so that's up to you if you want to if you don't want to and then after i mix it together you know i think i left it in the fridge for a little bit too long so now i am putting the um the oil root powder i don't know if i'm um saying that right so um i'm gonna whip it together because i didn't want to have a whip a uh, um, whip kind of creamy texture i just want it to be a butter okay but not too hard if you want you could leave it in this form but for me i wanted to mix all my things together i wanted to see that you know all the colors come together so i whipped it um, manually with my hand with this little thing right there i didn't have the machine to to um to use it the whipping one i had my stick blender i also use my stick blender for um for that just a little bit okay just to mix it together to get to get that creamy um texture if you leave it in this form it will get a little bit harder but once you use it it will melt into your skin let me tell you however if you want to get the whipping um texture whip it whip it real good and you will also get more for um more product okay because it's just gonna be fluffy look how it melts into the skin that's before that's before i add the powder it's a little bit greasy right now see how you can see the oil on my skin so now i'm going to add the oil um the oil powder just to make sure that it's less greasy it will also melt into the skin especially for the heavy oils okay so i will go um go ahead and add my essential oil so i like it like that i liked how it looked how it felt on my skin so i left it like that so i'm going to add the essential oil so the cinnamon oil and the um lemongrass oil i think i went overboard with the lemongrass oil oh my gosh i put too much and you don't have to put that much you could put um lavender oil you could put any type of essential oil that you want okay look at that that looks so delicious guys it was now you're gonna see how the difference between when i added to my skin and before all right so also the cinnamon oil helps with anti-aging it has um bacteria um properties healing it makes skin glows okay look look how it just melts into the skin no grease but it feels so soft then you could just go ahead and put your cream and whatever drawer that you have so i was able to get 
a medium little drawer and also this big drawer over there which was great okay so let me tell you guys when i after i take a shower and i use this butt on my skin i don't dry my skin all the way when i apply it so it just melts into my skin when i go to sleep i smell so good but the lemongrass is it's a little bit overpowering but i love it i love it if you love whatever scent that you love you can just add it i added um 10 to um 5 to 15 drops i think i went 10 to 15 drop with the with the lemongrass so look at that i enjoyed making this diy i hope you guys appreciate it and that you enjoyed as well guys i have a question how many of you suffered from dry skin especially during the winter time for me i have to extra moisturize my skin especially now i am dealing with this high pigmentation on my legs that i need to get rid of before summer comes okay so guys this is it i hope you, you enjoyed this video if you like this video give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe share and comment i would appreciate that as always i have a joyful a peaceful a wonderful and a blessed day i will see you on the next video